Hello, so in today's video I will show you how to set up PHD2 guiding for the Skywatcher GTA mount. Okay, so sooner or later you will want to start guiding because almost uh, all mounts have some periodic error and you can correct that with the guiding. And I think that uh, PHD2 is really an amazing uh, program that lets you do that. So without wasting much of your time, let's just go to the computer and set everything up. Okay, so the first thing that you will need is a software called uh, ASCOM, which acts like a middleman between uh, different programs and uh, helps them to communicate with each other. So I got all the tabs prepared here. And I'll post all the links to the programs uh, down in the description of the video. Okay, so now let's go ahead and download ASCOM, which will take you to this site, and you just have to scroll down, and we need to download this part. Next, let's go ahead and download PHD. So here on top, you will always find the latest version of PHD, so let's download. And the last thing that we need to download is the ASCOM driver for the SynScan app. And this is the top one uh, right here, so let's download it. Now you will all probably need some drivers for the camera that you will use for guiding. Now in my case I have the ACI 120, so we'll need the ZWO drivers, so let's download that. But like I said, it depends on the camera that you have, you'll probably need those drivers. Okay, so we got everything downloaded, now let's go to downloads. And let's start with installing the ESCOM drivers. Hit finish and that's that. Now let's install PHD. I'm going to uncheck both of these. Hit finish. Next we have the ASCOM drivers for the SynScan app. Hit accept. Uncheck this. Hit finish. In the last I have the guiding camera. Okay, so I got this already installed on my computer, so I'm going to hit no and exit this. Okay, so now that we have everything installed, let's run PHD. And when you open it up for the first time, the PHD wizard will guide you through the setup. So let's hit next. Now before we continue, make sure that you have your guiding camera plugged in and you got your mount connected to the SynScan app. So I'm going to do that right now. Ok, I got everything connected, now select your guiding camera, in my case that's the ZWO. Here PHD is asking if you are connected to the camera, so just hit yes. Next is the focal length of your guide scope, and make sure you got the correct uh, focal length or else uh, you might have some problems with the guiding. For the mount you have to choose this one, the SynScan mobile telescope, and you get asked again if this mount is connected, so hit yes. Now PHD will connect to the mount, we can skip this part, now let's give this profile a name, and here we will create a dark library to remove the noise in the guiding camera, so 5 dark frames for each exposure should be enough. Now we need to cover the front of the scope with the lens hood, so now hit start and this will take a few minutes so I'll skip ahead. Ok so this is as far as I can go because we have still uh, horrible weather but as you can see here I'm running a simulation just to quickly show you how you can start guiding. So first you can hit the looping icon so you will start to see some stars. Now all you need to do is go to tools, how to select star. Now all you have to do is push the green icon. Now PHD will go through a calibration process which will take a few minutes and after it's done you will see here that it will set uh, guiding. Also you can leave the settings as default in the beginning and it should work uh, quite well but I'll talk more about settings uh, in the next video. Now if you want to see how your guiding is performing you just need to go to view and display graph and as soon as you start to guide uh, you will see that the graph will start to uh, go up and down and the smoother the graph is the better your guiding. 
But yeah, like I said, you can really leave uh, all the settings as they are in the beginning. Okay, so I hope this video will be some help to you. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. But I would like to thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye. But if you have uh, any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Just leave them in the comment section.